let's understand something about fuels okay you must have heard this term very often why because all the automobiles whether it be a two wheeler or a car or anything else runs on fuels but fuel is not only the petrol or the diesel that we use for running automobiles although this is the one which we hear most commonly fuel basically refers to any substance which produces heat and light on burning okay now if you see if you burn wood that also produces heat and light okay coal is another example petrol as i said is the most common example then you have kerosene oil which is used for cooking now fuels can be basically divided into three categories okay there are solid fuels okay liquid fuels and gaseous fuels now how do you determine whether a fuel is a solid or a liquid or a gaseous fuel so for that you have to see given a particular kind of fuel let's say petrol what is the state at which it remains at room temperature state of fuel at room temperature so if the state of the fuel at room temperature is solid it's a solid fuel if the state of temperature of a fuel at room temperature is liquid it's a liquid fuel and if the state of temperature or rather the state of fuel at room temperature is gaseous then it is called a gaseous fuel so let's say if you have some kind of a wood okay or a cow dung cake at room temperature you will see them in solid states and therefore these are examples of solid fuels similarly for petrol or kerosene at room temperature these are in a liquid state liquid state at room temperature and hence these are known as liquid fuels okay now there are certain other fuels also i mean you might have heard about cng which is used to drive vehicles these days because it is less pollutive this is a gas but it is also a form of fuel similarly petroleum gas similarly biogas all these are in a gaseous form at room temperature and therefore these fuels are basically called as gaseous fuels